Hello everyone. So I was trying to set up some iPad kiosk displays and the new iPads we got are actually iPad 2s so they have this old 30 pin connector. Uh, all the other ones we had were iPad Airs so they had kind of like the standard small lightning connect connector cable. Now I didn't really think too much of it. Um, obviously this PoE injector that I have powering that tablet it goes to a lightning connector for the newer iPads or iPhones and so what I did was just get I got basically the same looking one with a female USB end that allowed a charger to be plugged in directly by USB into the plug. However, it turns out that this would only charge the iPad basically if it was off. So if it was on, it would drain power quicker than it would charge. I wasn't exactly sure how to solve this or if I would need a different injector or whatnot, but all I did do was purchased this little adapter piece so from the lightning 230 pin adapter and I used the original PoE injector that I used for the iPad Airs and everything is now charging without issue so on this adapter here I have it, it says the output is 5 volts 2 amps and it doesn't say the watts while on this one it's 5 volts 2 amps 10 watts so I'm not 100% sure if the output is different or if this just solves the problem somehow but basically so if, if you're looking for these online they're, they're pretty cheap I'll put a link in the video but as long as you get this little adapter it will work to power the iPad 2's without any problem and considering they are only a hundred bucks each they're quite a steal for a kiosk display unit